Alright guys, today I'm going to be talking about why Resident Evil 7 makes sense and what Blue Umbrella is and why Resident Evil 7 can't be a reboot. There's a lot of people that are saying Resident Evil would make sense if it's a reboot. I disagree. I think this game is fine within the Resident Evil 7 timeline. And here's why. Basically, it just makes too much sense with Chris's character. So what we learned is Blue Umbrella is actually a PMC, which is a private military corporation. And they're basically working with the BSAA. Now, Chris Redfield, he does not trust Blue Umbrella. And the reason he doesn't trust them is because of his background with Umbrella and what they've done. Now, the reason Umbrella is now saying it's good is because the best way I can say it is they actually drain the swamp, kind of like what Trump says, and they got all these, all, all, they basically got rid of all the bad people and brought in new people. And I don't know where they brought these people in from. That's discussed in a transmission with the girl that Chris is actually talking to, and they said that they would talk about it later. Blue Umbrella could also be a little bit more. It could also be a system where it's like, you know, the gear that Chris Redfield's wearing that like monitors the location of soldiers and also brings up the types of viruses so Chris can actually see their weaknesses and stuff like that. Now we know this because whenever we start the Not A Hero DLC, we actually see the Blue Umbrella logo. So we know that they basically created the module. At the end of Not A Hero DLC, after you kill Lucas, you have to destroy these servers, and then the person that Chris is talking to actually, actually says that the tech guys are going to be mad about that, so we know there's also tech people in Blue Umbrella. I actually believe that Ethan is actually going to end up working with Chris Redfield in the future, and I'm going to actually have a video about how that's almost 100% fact. If you would like to learn more about that video, feel free to hit subscribe and stay tuned guys. I, I've got major details and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, Chris was also actually worried that Blue Umbrella would want to actually hire uh, Lucas. He actually tells the girl that he's talking to, I, I, I honestly don't know her name, he actually told her, are you sure that Blue Umbrella doesn't just want to hire Lucas because they wanted to keep Lucas alive? They actually probably just wanted to put Lucas in that scanner thing so they could like figure out his weaknesses and stuff like that. Um, I'm getting tired of saying stuff like that, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to hit subscribe and peace out, guys. Have a great, wonderful day.